Sasha Brown's Set and Reset premiered at BAM's Next Wave Festival in 1983. It was a collaboration between choreographer-artist Trisha Brown, artist Robert Rauschenberg, and composer Laurie Anderson. Trisha said she was trying to rein in the esprit of improvisation in a fixed choreographic form. So the entire piece was made through improvisations that were then remembered, repeated, recorded, perfected, elaborated upon. She wanted to make movement whose impulses remained alive in the moment and looked improvised in performance. However, all the movements in Set and Reset are explicitly set. This is a very distinct section of the dance. What we're seeing is Trisha Brown dancing with Eva Karzag, a Hungarian-born, ballet-trained dancer. She is doing a variation on Trisha's movement that has more of the knowledge of ballet's codified techniques. So you see Trisha as contrasted with Eva Karzag's elegant port de bras, her landings in fifth position, her more articulated balletic leaps, as opposed to Trisha's completely uncodified and deliberate refusal of codification and categorization that define Trisha's movement vocabularies, which were completely original to her and to her own body. Trisha did not believe in performing improvisation, except on a few special and often private occasions. However, her passion for the vitality of movement let her want to create the effect of improvisation in something that was choreographed. And she was working on this going back to 1977. What we're seeing here is a remarkable solo performed by Stephen Petronio, one of today's most important contemporary choreographers. The performance is emblematic of Stephen's distinctive and remarkable athleticism, power-propelled performance. His ability to access movement impulses from all different parts of the body is one of the principles of Brown's movement that Stephen most brilliantly realized. In 1996, the company returned to BAM to celebrate its 25th anniversary season. What we're seeing now is Trisha dancing. She's 60 years old now. It's remarkable. She was still reaching her prime as a performer. It's a moment where we get to see Trisha's body as the palpable presence and model for all of the movement in the dance. The idea that what I'm doing looks like it's improvised, but guess what? I could repeat it over and over and it will keep looking as improvised as it was the first time. This is her most significant, monumental, game-changing, groundbreaking work. And that's partly because it still carried forward so many of her concept-driven approaches to dance from the 70s, but disguised them in this incredibly original, previously unseen, virtuosic movement language that was full of exuberance and play and wit. It's kind of a monument to a transition in the New York art and dance world from a time when avant-garde dance had no stages in America to show it and had to seek out alternative spaces and invent them. In 2013, the Trisha Brown Dance Company returned Set and Reset to BAM. It was the dance's 30th anniversary. Sitting in the audience, it was amazing to see younger generations of performers and students who'd never seen Trisha Brown dances of the 80s, who'd never seen Set and Reset, and to realize this is one of the most monumental, lasting works of art that Trisha Brown brought into the world.